In the next poop, I think I'd like to see someone um, with a lot of energy, um, someone who can lead the church in such a trying time, especially in the United States. I think that right now we're in a, a time of, of division. We have people who consider themselves conservative or traditional or progressive or liberal, and, and I don't think that's really what the church is. You know, we're the body of Christ here on earth, and so someone who can articulate the faith in all of these many ways and, and really bring us together uh, is somebody that I'd like to see become the next pope. Somebody that can connect with the youth, I think that's very important, um, that can really communicate to the world uh, on their level. You know, Pope Benedict uh, started to get a Twitter. He was trying to get out there and trying to be part of that virtual world. And I think that the next Pope needs to continue that, that legacy. He needs to um, get involved with us, be on television more often. Um, I was talking to my friends about this the other day, that you know, in the United States, we look to the President of the United States as the face of our country. I think we need to look to the Pope as the face of our religion. I would like to see somebody that sort of captures the spirit of, of someone like a John Paul II, someone that has that pastor type of um, presence to them, to be that leader, to help with the new evangelization and really get young people back involved with the church, especially in Europe and the United States. I think it's important to have someone um, in the day and age that we live in that can really show that authentic joy only comes in a life lived for Christ. So in um, a new pope, I hope to see someone that has that joy um, and that can reach out to people of uh, not only different faiths, but can reach out um, down through the church and really um, lift people up and encourage them to share that joy with others too. I think there are some wonderful candidates. We like to think of them in, through the media like as contenders, you know, these, these political figures. But really, I think most, the vast majority, if not all of them, they really have um, in mind what's best for the church. And they, they all have different skill sets as, to, as well to use um, for, for the betterment of, of the church and society. I think maybe someone like Cardinal Turkson would be a really good choice. Um, I think he's got a lot of energy and uh, coming from the School of Business and Economics, you know, I really enjoyed his vocation of the business leader and I think that he has a lot to contribute. As an American, I'm always partial towards our uh, Archbishop of New York, Cardinal Dolan. I think that's something that's been talked about, but as sort of conventional wisdom says, it's not going to be an American. There's a wisdom in the College of Cardinals that I just don't have. Um, I see an outside picture and I pick favorites on the basis of the best personality or the best you know, book in theology or something like that. But there's a wisdom there that I, I can't begin to approach. So <laughs> I just kind of am great with whatever, whatever happens.